Okay, so today I am going to do a peacock inspired coaster set and freeform bowl. This is going to be totally off the cuff. I have no clue how it's going to turn out. I want this to be kind of random and then I want these to look more like peacock feathers and so we shall see how this goes. I'm going to mix about 20 ounces or so of resin. That would be eight for the coasters, two ounces in each mold. I got these molds from Shop Resin Molds and they um, I saw someone else do a peacock inspired coasters with these and had to have the, the coasters, the molds. And then this is just a piece of shiny plastic and it is taped down with popsicle sticks underneath. It's kind of like a domino system but underneath your plastic. And this is just acting as a dam to keep my resin from overflowing outside of this area. Hopefully that'll do the trick. I have used uh, a clear shower curtain before which is a little bit heavier uh, it's more mills, so it's thicker. And um, I've got it taped down to kind of keep it stretched out so it doesn't kind of bunch in, hopefully. And so I'm going to mix up resin and I'm going to actually do multiple, multiple colors and just tiny amounts or, you know, amounts of maybe an ounce or so. And so I've got little three ounce cups. And I'm going to use a combination today of Etsy Funshine Color Shop. I'll just quickly go through the colors. Twinkling Forest and Sparkling Sangria. And then Key Lime and Lemongrass. The Twinkling Forest is a darker green. I do have some Prolex Spring Green in case I want to throw some of that in. I may put some alcohol link in with my micas, which I typically do. And then I've got some Color Art pigment uh, powders or mica powders. And I never know how they're going to really truly mix up because they're not really meant for resin, but they are, you know, beautiful. I got Peacock Feather, Snapdragon Payne's Gray and uh, Majestic Blue and Blue Flame and I'm going to just use a combination of colors a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So let me get to mixing. Equal parts A and B. You guys do the B first. It's a thinner consistency. This is probably about 11 ounces right there. And what I do is I take my cup and then I mark it where I can see it because it's always equal parts together to get a great result with your resin. And the other thing too is when you mix a large portion of resin, sometimes you've got to act kind of quickly. It just depends. but. We're going to see how this all pans out. I'm also going to make a gold color and instead of using micas like I typically do, I'm going to use liquid gold which is oil based and Pebeo ceramic lacquered you know, which would be oil as well and it's a rich gold so it's kind of an oranger gold and I'm going to use those in my resin which I do not typically put oil paints into my resin but I'm going to try that for a change of pace. Okay, so A goes into B, and the reason A goes into B is because A is like really thick corn syrup. Very, very thick. So it's very syrupy, thick, and ooey gooey. <laughs> and that's why I keep ventilation in my room, airflow an open window, somewhere with the air to vent, even though it's non-toxic, you are mixing chemicals and you need to play it safe. I should have a face mask on, but um, I'll add it on maybe when I get into the 
the rest of the video and I'm just you're gonna just watch me mix the different colors I did already name the colors I'm just gonna mix and I'm gonna create and not talk during that portion of it I've started my timer for six minutes and then after six minutes I'm gonna start a stopwatch and I'm going to probably pour the colors here first and I'm gonna probably do the colors here a little bit later after I've mixed it you know maybe 20 minutes or so out so where it's slightly warm and where they don't move as much because I don't really want them to blend into each other whereas this one I don't mind if there's some blending going on a little bit like I said I don't really really know what to expect but I am hopeful and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. I might have to throw some gold leaf in as well. Okay, I've mixed six minutes and I started my stopwatch. So I want to keep an eye on the time and get it to a warming stage. I'm going to put that aside and um, I would, I could actually do this bowl here on the counterculture giant mat, which I highly recommend to anybody that does acrylic pours or resin art. It is extra thick. There's notches for you to hang it when you want to get it off your table. And it is super thick super smooth and fabulous and I you know I just cannot sing its praises highly enough it is a satin finish um, surface it's very slick and it feels fabulous but that would not leave a shiny side of the bowl and I don't want it to be kind of matte so that's why I put down the shiny plastic here and I just bought it on a roll from Amazon and like I said, you can use something like that. You can use uh, a glossy, shiny shower curtain. I'm also using Counterculture Green Gala. It's a real fine glitter that has flecks of gold and, I don't know, green and deep blue. Just, you know, fabulous, like, peacock colors. This is just a... Gold leaf from Amazon. Okay, this was a prime example of <laughs> waiting too long for my resin. Oop.
so some of it set up faster than other parts of it and then it becomes kind of a mess to uh, try to do anything with just the glitter in there I'm trying to it's already it's already set up so this is a very abstract piece <laughs> um, I may draw on top of this because it's not full uh, pieces I don't expect the bottom to look good at all even compared to the top which is not beautiful to me but I might be able to embellish it with some gold that will really kind of um, make it look a little more like a feather and then this is just going to be an abstract kind of looking bowl so I really bit off more than I could chew with trying to do so many colors and mixing them and then trying to get them all out uh, just different rates of curing and some were really hot some were not that's the nature of the beast with resin so um, I'm gonna let this cure this I may come back in about four or five hours and put some design on it and put a clear coat and then this I'm gonna totally leave for about four hours or so and then I will shape it into a bowl we'll see what it looks like on the other side um, again I had planned on blurring the colors together a bit and making it more blended and I wanted this to be more separated but I got neither effect because I waited too long so I can always try on another one but I'll be back okay so it's been maybe three hours and these are flexible but I can totally touch them they're not sticky or anything I started to do a paint pen and I decided I'm gonna switch to the deco art extreme sheen in the uh, fine tip writer and that'll just be prettier and then I want to put this I've got an oval bowl I want it to kind of be oval if I can get it in if it's too much trouble then I'm not going to try to and also I cut off all the plastic around so there's just little bits of it just so that it wouldn't flip over and blow over on top I looked at the other side and I like it even less <laughs> I like it better where you can see the gold striations that I put in so I'm gonna see if I can get this in here so I have these wooden oblong things so the only thing about this is it's gonna leave some crinkles and I don't like that but there's really nothing I can do about that this is a thicker piece of plastic I don't know if that will help with the crinkles we're gonna try this So this is the plastic side and that's why I can touch it and then I've got plastic between the wood and shape and the top part of the resin so it does not stick to the wood or it would not come off the wood so um, it's like I said it's not what I originally wanted to do but oh well so I'm going to take these I'll just show you two and then I'll do all four but so I'll come back on this in a few hours and put a clear coat on top to fill up these molds and then um, tomorrow I will unmold them and the bowl and we'll see what we've got.
put the gold on and then I put a layer of resin. So it sealed it in and I'm going to unmold or demold. Also added a little bit more glitter at the top and bottom. So here's the back side which is uniquely strange. <laughs> which I knew it would be. Uh, you don't see any of the blue, you know. It's just the way the color settled in because of their heat, you know, from kind of flash curing, not flash curing, me taking too long to get everything mixed up and into the molds. I was thinking too, if I had put clear in and then, you know, put the colors in, I would have probably had like way too much resin in my molds, number one. But I think the the resin might would have blended even more if I had put it into a clear instead of just straight into the mold. I'm not sure. So, so just so you can see um, that glitter that I used. It is really pretty. It's um, green and blue and gold kind of mixed together, which you don't see much on the front, but you do see it a little bit. And like I added the holographic gold glitter that's kind of fine into the top and bottom area. So I can remove this just for the height. This was just for the top Form so that it would be kind of curved and smooth. I put, you know, saran wrap and then I had the layer of plastic. And it ended up staying nice and shiny from uh, being laid on that shiny plastic originally and it's staying nice and smooth so that gave a nice glassy finish. The inside I knew would be kind of crinkled looking because I laid it against you know plastic that I laid over the wood thing so um, I knew that was going to happen even though I didn't want it to and so the edges are really kind of thin there's probably even some plastic sealed into that very edge. I'm going to go around and trim up some of this and and probably outline it with gold. So I'm going to cut it away and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to use my Krylon 18 karat gold pen. So there it is and it's not anything like I envisioned or wanted it to be. It's unusual and you know I learned a lesson with this one for sure. I might um, I'm going to tape like this side is a little low. I may tape it to where it curls up a little bit more. just to give it um, a little bit more interest on that side and you know it can be a bowl it could, you could still serve something in it you can um, just leave it out as a, an art piece so it's still multiple uses it, has, it does have some pretty areas um, There's pretty parts of it.